everyone. Hello, Hello. We're a bit Hello. late, aren't we? We're running no, late. a little bit late. But you've been very busy, haven't you? It's been a busy old day, a good but busy day, and I'm looking forward to a bit of crafting. So, yeah, apologies. We were running a bit late. Life, life was a bit busy today. Oh, I can see some people joining us. Good stuff. Hi, everyone. Hello. Yes. Okay, so, Debbie, we, we've got a few cut files to share while people are starting to hop on and join us i hope everyone's well and that you've had a little bit of time to craft we had um a lovely crafty weekend didn't we we didn't get much time to craft ourselves but we did we did, we did it was lovely fun. though we had it we did lots of chatting didn't we, did we? Lots, lots of chatting okay it was yes, lovely it was very nice so we got some cut files to share we're going to be using the love that smile cut file which is a recently new one isn't it yes Deb? yeah so, that's one of the newer ones yes i, I think it was last week hello yeah, last week that one so and i've yes. um done an offset so i've got a border that i'm going to use for mine and then you've got some new ones to share Deb, I, have. I have because when we were doing our pencils i thought wouldn't it be nice to have a border that's already done so we have a straight pencil border Oh, nice, because you've got the separate pencils that we scrapbooked yeah. with a couple of weeks ago. That's Love right. that. And then oh, I... Steph, have... We didn't say hello to you, Steph. I missed you. Oh, hello, Steph. Lots and of people joining us. I thought one like this already straight would, for like me, that. Yeah. rather than having to line it up. So that's like a wonky border. And um, I arranged mine in, in rainbows. And then I thought, wouldn't it be great to have it already cut? in a rainbow so i did that one and um rainbow one pencil. more pencils one which is a whole page of pencils i thought that would be quite a nice oh, one good. i love that and um i had lots of um orders coming in we've sent quite a few of these out i think you've shown some of these before but our little twilight twiddles our eggs these oh yeah um, i've got a couple more popular. as well you've got some london um, designs you've done some restocks haven't you because we sold out quite yes. a few of these at the weekend so we've restocked those on the website and you've got a few more new ones there yeah at the park um i realized although i'd scrapped a photo with this one i hadn't done the cut file so mm. this is a new one just uploaded onto the website bath time time or oh, i've got some good photos for that and um this is the newest one um it was a little person's birthday last week so these are balloons but faye pointed out if you put them the other way up they could be baubles yeah, so it could be a multi-purpose one i definitely thought i don't know what other people think i thought they looked like christmas baubles that way so yeah loving that love that and then I've just been restocking some stencils. So, um, again, we sold out um, on some of the stencil design. So we've been busy um, prepping. The this is a new one, Deb, isn't it? This is yes. a new stencil. Let me get it on a darker background. So and I do have an example of what you can do with it. This is layering it twice um, because you can... Um, because you can line it up again, you can layer it twice. So this is two layers. I'll put it on my glittery background so you can see. So that is the um, layered circle and stripes. Because you've done the yes. layered dots, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. So that, I love that. So effective, that, that background you've made there, Deb. Love that. I, I, I was going to turn it into a card, but I ran out of time. It was going to be a greetings card, but um, it's a good starting point. And you can layer the ink. So if you start lighter and then go darker, um, yeah. So And that's good. So all our stencils come in these little pockets, um, A5 or A4. Um, and so they're in these little reusable pockets. Um, and then this one sold out, so we had to restock these which is this one is beautiful the, now i have got an example of it if you bear with me a second the starburst and you can make a whole circle so i'm just catching up on comments while you're doing that deb um 
uh, Steph saw baubles. Yeah, as soon as I looked at it, I thought that looks like Christmas baubles. Oh, this is the wonky star um, that I've inked, but I inked in the corners as well. So I think that one looks yeah. quite lovely. The I've starburst one, you can do a whole page. If you line it up, you can do a whole page of that. And you can also layer it so you get... Here I layered it with four colours so you can build it up. So it may, um, an ombre fill, effect. A 12, nice. fill a 12 by 12 background. Yeah, if you get it, if you get the corner in the middle and move it round, you can line it up and just build up the colours. Oh, brilliant. I'm just catching up on some of the chat. Hi, Jill. Hi, Julie's with us. Hi, Nicola. Hello, Julie. And um, yeah, Nicola saw um like if you trimmed the edges off they could be like marbles yeah a wreath of marbles and i thought with the um wonky star one you could also layer inside to add a add another layer yeah do you have inside. been busy experimenting i have I, been busy we've also restocked the clouds because the clouds sold out so yeah it's they're proving to be popular which is lovely because we're working on some new designs aren't we we are we lots are. of new designs to come yes oh good right so we've got a few people with us um this evening anybody crafting this evening anybody got the motivation to craft or is it a bit of a vegging evening our thursdays motivate us don't they to they do in crafting so we are going to be working with these. Um, um, I'm sure lots of you have seen this um, is Paige Evans Garden Shop Collection. And this is my favourite. I almost don't want to cut it. Well, I don't think I want to cut it either. It it's is beautiful. Like so this is number 22. And this one I love. I mean, gosh, you could do so many layouts with this. This is number 23. Um, and I quite like that side. I, the rainbow side is my favourite. This one's a nice blue, but I'm going to use this. I and I have this. got my uh, rainbows, my Twilight Twiddles ready as well. Oh, yes. No, so I've got um, these, the rainbow ones, which yep. I mean, the colours just match perfectly. Yeah, I've got mine ready because these just go beautifully. We tried to match... Um, the range and I've kept the inner pieces of my letters so I'm going to do a bit of inking for my cut file so oh, we're going to get going let's get going I didn't keep mine oh you didn't keep yours I if no. I cut them at home I was I in a cutting frenzy and I was doing other <laughs> cut files and by the time it, it they just go everywhere I know little pieces oh, all over let's see what people are doing so Steph sat on your bed shuffling through Halloween <laughs> stuff doing some planning and um, we've had some lovely Halloween inspiration from our DT. We had the trick or treat cut file this yes. week, um, which I loved. And I've got going to have some uh, Halloween pictures coming up to, to scrapbook. So that is great. And what else is everybody doing? Nicholas started cutting uh, backing a, oh, cut and started backing my colouring pencils earlier. Oh, yes. You've got the colouring pencils cut file. I kind of like to do that in front of the TV. Yeah, this one. And I can, this one I'm not going to back because I'm going to put it on my offset. So most, most cutting um, programs have an offset program. So once you import the cut file you can just click the offset tool and it will give you this outline. And then what you need to do is remove the digital inner piece and you will just have the offset piece. And so I cut this one in white and then I just cut this in a really old piece of blue. So that's good. Oh, hi, Kelly. Hello. Oh, Nicola, you've got a whole weekend. <laughs> With hubby away so a weekend of crafting heavenly a sailing weekend that sounds posh yeah 
Right, so I want to kind of try and build up a bit of a rainbow. So I was debating cutting around the square circles, the square buttons. Mm. I have no idea whether this will work, but I'm just going for it because I like experimenting. Oh, that's great. I'm, I'm going to watch you first. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's such beautiful paper. Like, oh, if Faye messes it up, then I won't do it. <laughs> that's what friends are for, Debbie. That's really mean, isn't it? That's... No. That's friendship right there. <laughs> So I'm going to cut a whole circle out because I've got an idea of trying to build up a rainbow of buttons. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's just in my head. So, oh, hi, Sarah. Sarah made the most amazing cakes at the weekend for crop in the country. It was oh, absolutely <gasps> stunning. Oh, we were spoiled, weren't we? Right. I don't know what I'm going to go in here. Are you? Well, I'm I'm watching and I'm seeing. Okay, <laughs> okay. I was debating cutting all the way around here because this one is actually a perfect circle with the flower buttons. I thought I might start there. I have no idea if this is going to work, but I like the idea of a 3D foam. I'm going foam. in. Look, that's going to make yeah. a little rainbow. Are you going in? You're just going to do I'm it. I'm just going to do it. In fact, this will probably make a double layout because I'll end up having two rainbows. A rainbow of buttons. I'm missing the chat. Oh, yeah, Nicola, same as me. Once the little one goes to bed, then you can craft. It's the same here. That's why I like the evenings and winter evenings particularly. Cold and dark out. A bit of time to craft. Have you gone straight in, Debbie? You are, aren't you? I'm going straight in. I'm going round the flower buttons because that's the that's the first full circle on the sheet of paper. Okay. So I thought I'll go here first and have a look, see what happens. Nicola, when you say curve is neat, um, I think that might be the camera being deceptive because <laughs> in person it's not looking quite so neat. It's not as neat as I'd like it, but. Oh well. Handmade. That's what we say. So my other half has just got into trying to make some things from resin. So that's all going on in our house. You've seen some photos, Debbie. Some very, very clever. What I'm hoping you might start to do is I'm going to persuade him to make some scrapbook embellishments. Little resin. Yeah, I've ordered some moulds. Keep him busy. Well, I've got some moulds as well. Good. So anything that you think will be good. Right. So I'm thinking. I'm, gonna See, make I'm thinking up. cutting in half. So you've got one rainbow, then another rainbow. I'm yeah. thinking go half here. That's what I've done here, look. Yeah. And you could make a series. If you interchange these pieces, I'm going to raise them up on foam. Well, Julie, I was thinking about putting thread through each button and then I thought that would be silly. But I did have that thought this morning. Oh, that would. Yeah. What, like actually threading each of the yes. buttons? Really, oh. I did have that thought this morning and then I um, <laughs> so to myself and decided it was a silly idea. You thought it's alive. Everybody will think what on earth? Yeah. And that'll be another thing I don't finish. Uh, but these little fiddles are going to go nicely because they match. But I mean, I'm thinking, and I'm going to cut out some larger rainbows next. This paper is just too beautiful. This must be making a really annoying sound. Oh, Julie, so you see like paper buttons and you just have the urge to just get them threaded for the effect. Would look beautiful. Tell you what would look really beautiful. Yeah. But I haven't got the time or the patience. Yeah. Scanning them and cutting them out on the scan and cut and then raising each one. Oh, my gosh, that would be amazing because, you know, the scan and cut would scan these. Mm. 
I did that with the Vicky Booten butterfly paper once. But I think this would be a lot. It would be a lot of work. Yeah, it would. Right, so I kind of have the thing about just doing one rainbow in a very layered up effect. Hmm. It's going to have to be every other. So we're going to go there, there, this one. So I'm alternating between the colours and this one. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, it would be a labour of love. I see some of the stitching that Paige Evans does and I'm a little bit in awe because it is fab. Have you seen um, what Petals does? Hers is stunning as well. Petals yeah. Day. Beautiful. And then, um, is it Audrey? Audrey, her stitching is stunning. There are some very talented scrapbookers. Just getting all these little pieces cut out, isn't it? Might not need them all. I'm going to go yellowy on this one. Greens and yellows into the reds. Cut it about one more. There. This piece. Right. Because I'm thinking I'm going to put embellishments all here. So... In the next layer, I think I've got two more layers to go. I'm going to go over to the blues and pinks now, this side. Definitely enough pieces to make a double layout here. Oh, you're going for a cut out circle, are you, Debbie? Or no, I'm trying it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see because I can always turn it into a rainbow after, but I thought. If I try a circle, then I'd have enough for two layouts. But if I did every other, are you going to foam it? Foam, yes. But I was thinking of trying every other like that just to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It might, it might not be enough. Right, I think this might be my last loop. I don't know. I might get one more. One more loop. Let's see what we get to. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm a bit like that, Joe, with, with tags. I feel like they need a bit of twine to finish them off. I'm with you. Crazy up my edges. Not quite as neat as I'd like. Oh. So here, here, here. This little one in here. Right, that's nice. That's going to be enough for me. I think there was one more row, which was the... Which was the... I quite like these. The green buttons... because it is the last complete row, so I might just go this with the yellow. I like the yellow colour. I'm definitely concentrating, which means I can't see the chat at the minute. Here. You've gone different colours, haven't you? Yeah, I've totally mixed mine because yeah. I wanted to have all the colours of the rainbow. Whereas because I'm cutting mine in half, I'm having to mix and match. <clears throat> oh, 
otherwise you'd only get one tone and it wouldn't necessarily be a rainbow let me say Yeah, I've got some tiny little button brads that are really cute and they've got tiny little holes in. Right, let's tidy this up. Right. So that's all my pieces. I'm going to get all these little pieces out because there's definitely enough to make a second layout with all that. Move this out of the way. And I might fussy cut some of these out for embellishments at the end. Right, here we go. Yeah, like the overlapping circles, definitely. Nicola says, looks fab. Oh, do they? Does that look right with them? Squiffed. Squiffed. I love that. That's a yeah, because that's making a frame and then you can kind of... Put that's what I was thinking because I'm going to have to have another sheet of this paper though because I do love it. I know it's a thing when you and I don't think I want that dark colour in here. I'm going to stick with a more open rainbow. And then I'm thinking wherever my title is, we're going to have love that smile like this. My camera's completely wonky today because I was all in a rush. I? Now I <laughs> all in a rush. Wonk is better than nothing at all. Exactly. So then I've got my little smiler here, which I will photo mount. There we go there. Love that smile. That's better. And so then I'm probably going to put embellishments here. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go with start foaming this. Yeah, I, it would be amazing if you cut each of these out and actually had each one on foam. Can you imagine? But life is too short for that. I think. That is seriously a lot of work. I'm going to lose so much with the thing. I might just cut them off here. And yeah. then I'd have them to use again. Because like that would that. be a shame, wouldn't it, to lose all that? Yeah. But I do love that circle, I must admit. But I can save some of the paper. Yeah. To use again. Yeah. Absolutely. It is like an it is like a layer of an onion, isn't it? And the more you cut them apart and you think, oh there's another idea. It's definitely nice to foam them up a bit. Oh, and I've got my stickers as well. My rainbow stickers. Have you got yours? Oh, mm. I must have those in my tote somewhere. Yes, yes they're beautiful. And the I haven't roses. used any of those yet. That is the Rosie's ones, isn't it? Yes. In the new range. Love those. Get the old foam. Everything has foam now. Can't resist. A bit of extra foam. One. Do you know what? I'm not cutting them off. I'm just going to stick them down as they are. And I'm going to have another piece of this paper. Like so. <laughs> Why like not? So. Yeah, because, and if you've got another idea for it, then you know. Just buy another sheet. If in Absolutely. doubt. Absolutely. It's surprising how many people do buy two sheets for that very same reason. Because if you love a piece of paper and you've got more ideas, yeah. it's kind of more frustrating if you only have one. So, if in doubt, buy two. All the things. All the things. Buy two of them. 
Life is short, why two? There's my big scissors. Yeah, Nicola, I'm just with you. Oh, thank you, Jill. Well, we looked at this, we looked at this gorgeous paper at the weekend because lots of people were commenting on how when they see things like garden shop and Vicky Booten's print shop in person, which is the beauty of having our mobile shop, that they actually didn't like it so much online. And then when you see it in person, it looks lovely. And we were looking at this this particular sheet going, oh, it's beautiful, but oh, what would you do with it? I've got no idea. What can I do? I mean, you could just leave it as it was because it's so beautiful. But it would be like really busy in the background, wouldn't it, on its own? It is beautiful, but on its own, it would be quite a lot. And then, so when we thought about, oh, how could we cut it apart? I do love if anybody wants to hand cut them all out, and I think that would look stunning. Or scan and cut them all out. I wonder if scan and cut would do it. I bet it would. Do you know, I might have to try it. Yeah, <clears throat> want for you to try and post on the group and let us know. Right, so that fills the whole piece, and that's all on foam, which has given that a bit of dimension. But you're not going to see these edges because they're not straight. But this lovely cut file is going to go here, and I am going to ink all the pieces that are going to go on the top. So I'm just going to stick this onto the offset to start with. So I was debating backing it in the back of the words paper, but I'm not sure about the colour. The buttons are so bright. Yeah. I'm going to look forward to cutting some of those words out, I think. Yeah. And making some little embellishments with it. And those words you could just the use on... That's the back, but I think I want to keep the words. Yeah. I wasn't overly keen on the back, but I think, like you say, it's good for matting. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was like on the word. I think perhaps it's too orange. I don't know. Let's try it. It's only a little bit, isn't it? Oh, big line with you. I got, how do you spell stingy? I, my spelling is not great. Stingy, stingy. <laughs> Do you know it might look. No, I think it's too much. That orange is too much. It's too orange, yeah. Too orange, I think. So then I've got these couple of little pieces here, which I am going to trim slightly. No, I'm going to keep the whole buttons. Right, so that's that. Let's get inking my... Yeah, I'm with you. It's like backing it on orange is not necessary. No. However, I do like this kind of blue. I haven't got quite enough of that left. So let's get into the letters. So I've got my messy mat. Excuse how messy this messy mat is, but... Have you not got a clean messy mat? No, you know me. Always make a mess. I've got a clean messy mat and a messy messy mat. Yeah. Yeah, um, the pink, um, Nicola was suggesting like a pink. That I'm with you. I don't think the oranges and blues are quite right, but a, no. a, soft, a soft pink would be good. I'm not convinced, so because it's a picture of a little boy. I think I, I see. I scrapped pink with my little boy lot. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't got a pink. It's that kind of rainbow layout that definitely pink. Yeah. Oh, what have I got? Let's have a look. Um, now I have got that's too pink, but I have got the back of this. That might work well. Nice. 
So but I've also got quite some plain elements that I have cut and I'm going to ink some of these to make some little rainbows. What do you think about the pink? Does that match? Mm. It matches the red. And then on the blue, I think it would look quite nice. What do you think? I like it. I, I I think it looks great, yeah. Right, so I've got two colours. I've got an ink and an oxide, actually. I've got tumbled glass. Are you doing some inking as well? Are you inking your letters? So I was yeah. debating ink in the background, but I haven't really got room. I? I am going to stick with distress ink, actually, and not the oxide, because I want a softer effect. The oxide are very opaque. Yes. They do give quite good coverage, don't oh, they? Oh, yeah, Judy says, yeah, yeah, that, that the colour tones look good, Deb, and... Yeah, Marvellous, thank loving you. The, loving the cut file too. Right, so I'm going to go a bit of this mustard seed, but in an ink. I was going to go blue up to yellow, so... Can't resist a bit of ink. It might go a bit greeny in the middle, but I think that would kind of look a bit funky. Oh, that would look nice, I think. A bit of ombre. A um, little bit of ombre. A bit of ombre. Yellow. Nice bit of mustard seed. And then into blue. So it'll be yellow at the top into the blue there we go. It took me ages to find a blue that I like to go with this as well it's funny isn't it when you start trying to match certain colours <clears throat> I know and you can understand why people sort of buy from whole collections because then yes. a lot of the thinking yeah. and the colour matching is the, the, the stress is kind of taken away I think isn't it? Pink is one of the hardest colors to match because once you start putting them up um together you get orangey the, pinks red yeah, pink, salmony pink and you yeah, think they match orange. and then you put them and it's just like oh they are so far apart yeah right let's get this in the middle Ooh. Yeah, there are green buttons too, so it kind of is going to tie in. So I think it will work. I find the distress inks are a bit more blendable than the oxides anyway. I don't know what other people find, but it gives a slightly softer effect. And if it goes a bit greeny in the middle, that's going to look a bit cool. That's fine. And I've got a bit yellow on my fingers, so it's all blending in. So anybody got any good plans for the weekend? I've got a very quiet one this weekend, which I'm kind of welcoming after a busy weekend last weekend you had a baby big... sitting oh you're babysitting yeah, saturday early early saturday and the evening nice. so yeah and you had a we very another good... busy one you had a busy weekend last weekend for sure yeah it was busy yeah and you went into the first birthday party so yes yeah yeah we've been we've been quite busy haven't we been a bit busy i mean we do busy. we do lead busy lives but that's all part of the fun life is for living isn't it absolutely making the most of it what's that saying no um arriving as if you've really like used everything and crumpled and there's a saying isn't there about living life to the full and arriving oh yeah i definitely uh, yeah yeah live life to the max yeah nicola i love the inks um we've got the mini inks in the shop which are nice if you wanted to try um 
Um, I still love the big inks, but um, mini inks are good to take to the crops. And they kind of blend more. But the oxides, and I'm going to go in with a bit of oxide here because they are more... Well, they're just kind of bolder in their application. They're more... Because um, they're opaque, they add a chalky... They add more coverage, I think. It's yeah. like a chalky... So that's got a soft... It's the yellow's quite bright. Let's see if I can hold that up in the light. And they're great reaction with water. But I'm going to go in with a bit of Mermaid Lagoon to give this blue a bit more of a kick. Because it was a little bit too pastel-y for me. And I wanted to see that one. Oxides are my favourite, I have to say. Yeah, and mine. I, you see, look, I think that. If I compare the two, I think you get a brighter colour, don't you? Yeah. And I prefer that. But if I'm working on a very soft mixed media, that it's I like the effect it gives. I, I would have yes. them both. If I had to choose one, I would choose oxides. Same. And yet I wouldn't convert for ages because I was loving the inks. And then I'm like, oh, these are... Yeah. Loving the oxides and what they do. You just give that vibrant colour that you want. Especially so, like the reds and the pink. The pink is just beautiful. If you want to give a bit of an ombre. But then I've done ink at the top and oxide at the bottom. So you can use the two. But I just use separate brushes. Oh, yeah, you can't use a distress ink, even if it's the same colour with your oxide, because it's different properties. Yeah, keep your, keep your brushes. It will damage your Separate ink. That is our, definitely our tip. I'm just thinking these little rainbows as well, because I might use these as embellishments. Getting the blue on here. A little bit of blue. I'll do a pink and an orange, I think. That'll be all my pieces done. Then we'll get sticking down. As long as I make sure I clean my fingers so I don't get ink all on the layout. Does anybody find that if you're doing mixed media and then you touch the paper and you think, oh, I didn't clean my hands. Oh, Julie, yeah, you've got to make the most of babysitting because they grow up so quickly. Yes. They grow up, they grow up far too fast. Well, one already, so I mean, I don't know where that time's gone. Mad, isn't it? Just yeah. Right, I'm going to get an uh, orange for the rainbow. And what other colour have we got? A pink, I think. Let's go pink. And that will be my rainbow pieces. Where did my you get your rainbow pieces from, Faye? They were in a box. And I found them. I think it was from one of the kits we've um, uh, done previously. And I thought, oh, that might I be could useful. Use I could use that. Oh, Julie, honestly, she's grown up so quickly. And my little boy keeps waking up a bit early at half past six and the, the grow clock doesn't turn yellow until seven. But he, and, and it's the rule to go back to bed. And he goes, well, are you coming for a cuddle? I'm like, yeah. And you can hear Daddy go, back to bed, back to bed. I'm like, okay. Oh, no. Yeah. There'll be a time when he doesn't want to give you a cuddle. Exactly. You've so got to cherish it while you can. Enjoy it while they're tiny. Absolutely. And they'll be teenagers and they'll go, Ma. Oh, get off me. Get out of my way, Ma. I don't so. even want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, just go on the floor. <laughs> oh, dear. I've got all that to come. Yeah. Oh, they're not too bad normally. Oh, Julie. We went through a 5.30 wake up for up to about sort of 18 months to nearly two and it was like oh half past five what is that 
Right, I've got very messy hands. I've done all the inking. I'm going to get all this cleared away. And we're going to start to put it on the layout. I think I have some wet wipes here somewhere. I have got very messy hands. Yes. In my beautiful little crop in the country little case. When we go on the crop in the country retreats, which we love, Sarah hand stitches the most beautiful little tree. Oh, she's so clever. We had a lovely oh. box last time, didn't we? A yeah. tabletop and a tote. Oh, it's amazing. We had, um, we've had a holder for antibac gel. We've yeah. had a lovely um, case to hold um, paintbrushes. We are so lucky. Right. And this time it was a lovely popper, wasn't it? A lovely popper wallet so you could put... Embellishment wallet. I've got, I've got mine just here. Look at this beautiful little... Look hold all your embellishments i haven't filled mine yet we just love i just love crops do you know what the weirdest thing is there was just a bug crawling under my um rainbow did anybody see that there's a what there was like a bug that just climbed under that rainbow here oh. but if, if 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 it has it's stuck to a phone pad right now oh so, it is no more it is no more right so we're ready now I'm going to glue the top piece but foam the bottom piece so that it's at the right level. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to glue this one on and then foamy dot it so it sticks yes. up. Just, I only need to foam the bottom piece because it's resting on the rainbow. So three little foam pads here. I'm not going to stick the top piece down yet because it's highly likely I'm going to want to tuck lots of things under it and I'm moving it over a little bit because I want to fit the photograph which is here there, like that <clears throat> right and then let's get my letters so we're going here yes love that smile I'm going to foam these up as well. Get these bits in here. Like that. And then maybe get some of this ink here. It's all a bit messy like that. Yellow. A little orange. Here. That. Oh, Sarah, you are so clever. That was just such a lovely, lovely gift. Uh, every time we go, we get very excited about your fabulous gifts and obviously the delicious cake. We're very spoiled. Nicola, very. What, the ombre, I, I wasn't sure if the, I like the ombre, but I wasn't sure maybe if I'd quite pick the right colours. I think in hindsight, if I was going to do it again, I'd have a blue that's more of a purpley blue or maybe a yellow into pink. I don't know. I didn't, I've only got limited colours, so I just went with what I had, but now I'm thinking of having this one's on foam dots. I'm thinking that one down and the next one foam dots. What do you think? Because otherwise it's going to overlap, and I don't. Th I think it will add more you don't up by down, going down and up. Yeah, what do you I think? think so. Yeah. Right, I'm giving it a go. Go if for it. If it all goes wrong, it will just be a design opportunity. Oh, you'll sit and wait for Mr. Owl. Oh, love him. I wish mine said mine's not awake yet. He's like, come on, get up. <laughs> milk and biscuit, milk and biscuit. <laughs> he's so lovely. Actually, he's it? very good now because he eats pears and all sorts and he's very good. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not really feeling it. I'm going to go to this lovely bit of paper. Because I think I'm going to cut some lovely words out. 
and I'm not even going to stick that down just yet because I might recolor it. Getting the color right is important. Um, I might add slightly different, but let's go in with some of these. See if we can layer up. I quite like the idea of cutting out some of these words. Laugh out loud is cute. So I was just going to cut some of these here and layer them all up along here. Mm. Oh, I think maybe guillotine to do these is the way forward. But you can almost cut all these little pieces. I was going to zigzag them up. Here, I don't even know if I want these. Hmm. Don't know if they're needed. They don't quite tie in. Hello, white. So I'm going to take these off. Yeah, I think if I'm going to do ombre, I might add some more other little bits of mixed media that I haven't quite worked out with yet. Let's cut some of these off. I am just decided to snip these like this. Then we can cut the ones we want. Let's see. Pockets full of flowers. Oh, sunshine and smiles is a perfect one. Bouquet of happiness is quite good. Best day. All these little words. So, sunshine and smiles. How is yours coming along, Deb? Are you... Oh, it's, it's getting it hard to line up. I think doing it down and up. Um, makes it match up a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know, is it looking all right? It's looking it's fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, loving that. Okay of happiness. Best day. Um, where's my thing? Dots gone Oh, yeah, Nicholas, you keep the blue. Maybe the blue does. It's just. I was feeling maybe the muted blue and the bright blue wasn't quite right, but. It might grow on me. I quite like the idea of layering some of these words. Always growing. Always growing can go at the bottom if I mount it on something. Hmm. Love that smile. Does this go over here? One, two, three. Uh, when if you start a layout and then kind of like go back to it and have a second look, sometimes I feel like something isn't coming together. I leave it for a day and then. And not very often, because you know what I'm like, I often think, oh, I want to get it finished. I never, I hardly ever finish mine. <clears throat> As you know, I'm a, I'm a slow scrub. We could take a bit of time, yeah, to mull it over. Well, often I decide on a photo and then I change my mind. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to get some of my little flares, my little epoxy which one do i like kind of like this blue one which might go here mm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not so sure. You can see I haven't stuck these down yet because I'm not sure about it. Let me get this little one out. I think I like that one better. Get a few little embellishments here. Some buttons. This is when you wish you had a little button punch or a circle punch because I can't cut neat circles. I don't know about anybody else. I have actually got a button oh, dot somewhere. Never really comes out quite as you'd like. Although I have got a whole case of buttons. I mean, how many people own like masses of buttons? I mean, look at these. Yep. Oh, We've got a whole load of buttons. So, you know, you could be diving into your button stash. Make it make it a bit heavy there and a bit 3D. It would. You know what you're like with that. That's why I like my button die. You wouldn't be feeling... You must have one. Didn't you have a Sizzlet one? Yeah. Yeah. Button die. Mm -hmm. I have. And there are actually button dies of the little flower ones, just like that one, actually, thinking about it. And the square one. Oh, Nicola, you've gone back and re-scratched. Yeah, I've kept like some, I haven't ever sort of taken a layout apart because I always keep them and look back and think, oh my gosh, I've learned so much or my style <laughs> changed or, so I do keep them. We've talked about that, haven't we, Deb, about? Yes. Oh, should we go back and, but I'm, I'm with you. I've sort of maybe taken the photos and sort of thought, right, I'll. I wanted to redo the one I did for my daughter for her 18th. And she said, no, mum, it's lovely. I like it as it is. And oh, my goodness. What, when you look at it? <gasps> yeah. She was 18, so that was a long time ago. And um, that was when we had Paper Mania papers. We've talked about those before, haven't we? Yeah. Particularly, um, yeah. Styles of change, shall we say. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. one is definitely going to take some faffing. I'm, it will come together. I like the concept of it. I love this bit and I love the this. Just the tone of this ombre is probably too bright. This would be more like Vicky Bootin bright. But it's almost like I need a pastels. And I might cut these letters out in the page kind of papers because there are other papers in this collection and I think if I cut them out in a page collection rather I love I'm going to still use these though I'll keep the ombre for another layout you know when you feel like right I'm going to tweak it a bit so it's definitely one for a bit of tweaking so that I'm happy with it That's okay, because that's part of the experiment. You try something and think, no, mm, not too happy with that. But I am going to have the, I do quite like the words on one side. I haven't cut any words out yet. Yeah, there's, there is just a whole load to choose from. I had thought about putting words like, along the bottom in a little wall yes building up like this as a base so that you still keep your sunshine so that could be another option of having all these words like this 
I mean, basically, you can just keep playing around, but I like them stacked up here in a layered effect. Oh, there's some really good ones here. Oh, yeah. Grow Giggles. Plant Smiles. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. It's Fab ones. Right. I think we're past nine o'clock, so I'm aware we have come to the end and we've probably got a little bit more that we need to faff about with don't we probably have a little bit more faffing but hopefully that's given you a little bit of inspiration for what you can do with these papers um and we will we'll keep fiddling with them and we'll post some pictures on the group so thank you for joining us everyone it has been lovely to chat with you all and um, we'll post pictures when they're finished and we will be back same time next week. So have a good crafty week, everyone, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye, everyone.